Over a decade ago, Beijing was frequently blanketed by thick yellow and grey smog, obscuring nearly everything from sight. Residents took to locking their windows, donning face masks, and cranking up air purifiers to escape what became known as the city's air apocalypse. Each year, an estimated 1.2 million Chinese citizens die prematurely due to poor air quality. The severity of the air quality issue garnered global attention, prompting Chinese leaders to launch a multi-billion dollar war against pollution. Fast forward 10 years, and the results of these efforts are evident. A report indicates that China's pollution levels dropped by 42% between 2013 and 2021, marking a notable achievement amid worsening pollution trends in other parts of Asia, such as South Asia. The annual Air Quality Life Index report, published by the Energy Policy Institute at the University of Chicago, lauded China's remarkable success in combating pollution. So how did China manage to significantly reduce its air pollution and make strides in addressing climate change? In this video, we'll delve into China's strategies for tackling air pollution and explore the valuable lessons that other countries can glean from its experience. Before we proceed, consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful videos like this one. Becoming the world's factory with a cost. China's rapid economic growth, with an average annual increase of 10% in national gross domestic product over more than a decade, has led to a significant rise in emissions. In the last decade alone, China has emitted more greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide each year than any other country globally. It took over as the top emitter from the United States in 2005, according to Climate Watch. Although per person, emissions in the United States are still more than double those in China. The primary culprit for this surge in emissions is coal, which accounts for almost two-thirds of China's energy use. China leads as the world's biggest coal producer and is responsible for about half of the coal used worldwide. Although the government stopped new coal-fired power plant constructions in 2016, there was a spike in new plant construction once the ban lifted in 2018. In 2020, China added over three times more new coal power capacity than the rest of the world combined. The rapid pace of urbanization in China has also played a role. As more cities grow, there's a higher demand for energy to run new manufacturing hubs and industries. The construction of these centers requires energy-intensive materials like cement and steel. Additionally, the number of cars on Chinese roads has soared, reaching 240 million in 2018 from around 27 million in 2004. How China Solves Air Pollution Acknowledging the urgency of climate change, the Chinese government has made commitments to address it. They've set ambitious goals, including achieving carbon neutrality by 2060, peaking carbon dioxide emissions before 2030, and aiming for renewable energy to make up 25% of total energy consumption by 2030. In September 2013, Beijing unveiled a five-year action plan in response to the severe air pollution plaguing the city. The plan had ambitious goals, safeguarding public health and fostering sustainable, long-term growth. It outlined specific targets and implemented stricter emissions standards ahead of national regulations. Critical gaps in enforcement were closed to ensure effective implementation. One of the plan's key focuses was on the transportation sector. To address vehicle emissions, the city introduced a lottery system for license plates, making it more challenging to acquire plates for new fossil fuel-powered cars. In contrast, obtaining a plate for an electric vehicle was streamlined, encouraging the transition to cleaner transport options. Furthermore, the plan targeted truck traffic by directing lorries to use beltways to bypass heavily populated areas, reducing congestion and emissions within the city. 
China, once renowned as the Kingdom of the Bicycle, witnessed a shift to car usage due to economic growth and urbanization, impacting air quality negatively. To revive cycling, Beijing reintroduced bike-sharing programs to promote eco-friendly commuting. Beyond transport, substantial investments were made in infrastructure, including expanding the subway network and developing high-speed rail connections. This enhanced public transport options, reducing reliance on cars for intracity travel and boosting intercity connectivity. The plan also tackled non-vehicular pollution sources, such as coal-fired boilers, by promoting cleaner fuels for household use and restructuring industries to minimize emissions. Efforts were made to combat dust pollution by restoring degraded ecosystems and increasing green spaces within the city. These initiatives came at a significant financial cost, with Beijing's air pollution control budget soaring from just over 3 billion yuan in 2013 to over 18 billion yuan in 2017. The results were tangible by the end of 2017, with visible improvements in air quality, a 35% reduction in annual average PM2. Five concentration from 2013 a more than 93% drop in sulfur dioxide levels since 1998, and nearly a 38% decrease in nitrous dioxide. Instances of heavy pollution became less frequent and less severe, marking progress in the city's battle against air pollution. Will China become the leader in renewable energy? China is charting a green course with its clean energy powering China's Green Future Initiative, standing out for its unmatched speed and scale in renewable energy expansion. In 2022, China installed solar capacity equal to the rest of the world combined and then doubled that figure in 2023. At this rate, it's poised to achieve its solar targets by 2025, potentially reaching 1,000 gigawatts of solar power alone by the end of 2026. This achievement would significantly contribute to the global goal of having 11,000 gigawatts of installed renewable capacity by 2030, as outlined in the Paris Agreement. Notably, fossil fuels now constitute less than half of China's total installed generation capacity, a sharp drop from a decade ago when they made up two-thirds of the power capacity. In just 10 years, China has not only dominated solar and wind technology production, but also established a near monopoly on supply chain components, including rare earths and strategic minerals, crucial for clean energy. With over 80% of the world's solar manufacturing capacity, China's renewables sector has driven down global prices, making renewable systems more accessible, especially for economically challenged nations. Furthermore, China has made significant strides in wind, battery, and electric vehicle EV technologies, with companies like BYD emerging as global leaders in EV manufacturing, posing stiff competition to established automotive brands. To meet its 2025 carbon intensity targets, China must peak emissions this year and achieve a 4% to 6% decline by 2025. While some analysts view these targets as challenging, sustaining progress requires the government to adhere to its commitments by controlling new coal capacity and accelerating the deployment of renewable energy sources. These efforts are pivotal for China to stay aligned with its long-term environmental objectives. What are your thoughts on whether China can peak its carbon emissions before 2030 and reach carbon neutrality by 2060? Share your opinions in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to show your support. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more engaging content like this.